Hello guys, this is Shake Your Program and today I'll show you a new program that I have written. It's called Multiple Forms. We create a main form and then from then we click we create then many other form from that first form. Again, uh, the goal through these uh, exercises, you know, is to just show you a snippet of code that you can incorporate later in your bigger project and so on. Because that's what really pro programming is really, really is. They teach you one function and you can use it over and over again and so on. So let's just show what it does first. So this is the main uh, multiple form. You can create a new form. You just give it a name. Let's say I name it add. And I say create. It shows add. And I created. I can create another form called sub. Now, if I I cannot create uh, if I if I want to create another um, another form named sub, it's not gonna go. I can only use a uh, different name or every time. So I can use mult, or multiply, and so on. I can create a new form, multiply, and so on. I can create as many as I want, and I can kill each form by just. I can kill this form not by killing it here. I can kill it from the main, you know, from the main form. So I just let's say I want to kill this one. It's, this one is add. The name is add. So I just put here add and I just click kill, and it's gone. So if I want to kill this one, you know, I just click here multiply because that's what it's called and then kill and that's it um, and that's about it. Uh, so so what so the main concept behind this is um, fairly simple so let me just increase the font and explain it quickly uh the rest uh, i'm gonna upload it and you can play around and see so i have a list you know a list that keeps of the forms the so what it does i have a key value pair you know for a template as a list so what it takes the key will be um the key will be the name of the form and the form will be the form, whether it's add form, multiply form, or whatever form I'm going to create new, and so on. So, and when I click uh, the create button, you know, the first button which is to create, I first search if, you know, if whatever is written in the text box field, if we have that name. If we have that name, it returns for, if it, if it, if it has that name, it returns true. But if it doesn't false, that means it doesn't have the name. That's what it says here, not search. And so on. And then I create a new form because I have two forms. Um, like I have said, this is uh, just to show you. Uh, this is form one. This is the main form. And over here, I have a second form here that I can use to create multiple other forms. If, you, if you're familiar with C Sharp uh, creating having two forms in one project that's what it does so all I just have to do next is just create a new form here make sure that you know this f that text mean uh, you know on the top on the on the top of the form whatever you want to display they want to display just the name so and then we create a key value pair you know and then the name of the form will be you know text box on that text whatever name is there and then the form F that's what we store into our list you know list of form we just add it and store it and that's it that's it and uh, so every time we want to create a form we create it and we add it there so that means after the create function is finished uh, this is still um, this is still safe in the main uh in in the main variable list form if you don't have list form then it would be you know gone so the reason why we have you know we could have and we could have had an array you know and so on but with this uh, list form we have the key value pair we have the string we can pair it with the string and the form and so on keep everything you know organized if we had an array also 
we have to really if you had an array we couldn't you know kill we couldn't create based on the name of the form and kill based on the name of the form we can you know we can compare each form you know to find if it's there but we wouldn't be able to have that flexibility so uh, this way this one works fine for our needs so if you want to kill you know you just call the kill button and uh, what we do is uh, we still read from the text box field to see which form name we want to kill so we just you know go through the it goes through the list you know and uh, we grab each list you know if you just look at if i upload it you look at it you understand so we just compare if we find it we close the form and we remove it from the list it's fairly simple the concept is fairly simple so we just create you know click create create a new form if you want to kill it, you just press kill. This can be used in many different applications later on. I mean, you can create, you can have, you know, a default uh, second form that you can create as many of them. You can kill, kill each of them, you know, dynamically. You don't have to really click at it to kill it. You can, you can manipulate many things and so on. I hope this was useful and uh, see you until next time.